Peace be to you on this Easter Sunday. Thank you for joining Salem Church for this time of worship. I welcome you to my home. I'm Pastor Stacy. We'll be joined by Dr. Allison Moore, our Director of Music. Allison recorded for us in the sanctuary some of our favorite Easter hymns. So I would invite you to participate with us. It is traditional for Christians on this day to greet one another with an affirmation of our faith with these words, Christ is risen. And then the response is this, Christ is risen indeed. So I would invite us to join in this call to worship and greeting this morning. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed, my friends. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our opening hymn is Christ the Lord is Risen Today, written by Charles Wesley. The words written in 1739 and then set to an already existing tune. Let us sing with joy and our resurrection faith. Christ the Lord is risen today. Good morning on this Easter Sunday. Let's join together and celebrate the resurrection of our Christ by singing first hymn 302, Christ the Lord is risen today. We'll do the first and the second verses and then up to 322, up from the grave he arose. Let's sing together. Was written by John Wesley for the celebration of Easter. Join your spirits with me now as we pray to God. But chiefly we are bound to praise you, O God, for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the very Paschal Lamb which was offered for us and has taken away the sin of the world, who by his death has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again has restored to us everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you, and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to you, O Lord Most High. Amen. Our scripture reading for today comes from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 through 10. I'll be sharing from the Common English Bible. Imagine yourself on that day so long ago. The women have waited 
till the Sabbath is over. And now they make their way early in the morning to the tomb to finish preparing Jesus' body for its burial. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to look at the tomb. Look, there was a great earthquake, for an angel from the Lord came down from heaven. Coming to the stone, he rolled it away and sat on it. Now his face was like lightning and his clothes as white as snow. The guards were so terrified of him that they shook with fear and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here because he's been raised from the dead. Just as he said, come see the place where they laid him. Now hurry, go and tell his disciples, he's been raised from the dead. He's going on ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. I've given the message to you. With great fear and excitement, they hurried away from the tomb and ran to tell his disciples. But Jesus met them and greeted them. They came and grabbed his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, don't be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that I am going into Galilee. They will see me there. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. In order to tell the resurrection story of Jesus Christ this morning, I want to speak directly to the younger ones in our church family. I always look forward to greeting the children each week on the steps of the sanctuary. And so today I would invite us to picture that in our minds and invite the children to hear about how God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Easter is a surprise. It looked like Jesus' life was over, but his death and his burial wasn't the end. God always has the final word. It looked terrible. It looked like it was all over. The followers of Jesus were so sad. When the women came to the tomb, they were looking for the body of Jesus. That's where they had put him. When they got to the tomb, they saw an angel instead. There was a great earthquake. And the angel sat on the stone that had once been rolled in front of the grave. So the women looked inside and they didn't see Jesus' body. The angel told them the good news. The reason Jesus' body wasn't there is because Jesus was alive. God had raised him from the dead and they we're going to be able to see Jesus again. They were so happy and yet they were confused. They were afraid they didn't understand. Sometimes we have things like that happen to us in our lives. We don't understand how God is working. 
We can't see it. We have to trust. In nature, we're familiar with the caterpillar. And I have my little friend with me this morning. Just picture the little caterpillar crawling along on the ground. It doesn't look like much, does it? And then this caterpillar makes a cocoon. It really looks dead. You can't see the caterpillar anymore. You only see this kind of brown, dried up looking cocoon. The next thing you know, a beautiful butterfly emerges. Surprise, something beautiful comes out of what didn't look like very much at all. I hope that this helps us to understand the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. God raises Jesus back to life again. It's a wonderful surprise. Indeed, we call it a miracle. The best part is that Jesus is still alive and we can live forever with him. We have to trust in God and to believe in Jesus Christ. God who raised Jesus Christ from the dead will give us new life also. I ask all of us to be on the lookout. Where do we see signs of hope? Where do we see signs of resurrection and new life? Even now. A lot of people have reflected that this Easter may be more like that first Easter. The women went to the tomb. They weren't wearing new clothes or have new hats on to celebrate. They hadn't decorated eggs with bright colors. They weren't going to have ham for dinner or whatever big meal we use to celebrate Easter. None of the followers of Jesus were able to gather for worship. In fact, they were locked away. You might think of them as being at home, being safe. They were afraid of what was going on. The same people who put Jesus to death on the cross might be looking for them too. So they were afraid and they stayed in their homes. And yet, they experienced the most glorious rebirth ever. There's a popular song recorded by the group Leland. It was actually written by a musician named Cynic. And this is part of the verse. Even when I don't see it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop working. You never stop. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You never stop. You never stop working. My friends in Christ, God is working. I believe that with my whole be being, with all that I am. God is working even now in our world and in our lives. We may not see it. We may not feel it. 
We may have some fear. We may have some anxiety. But believe the good news shown in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. God never stops working for us, his children. Believe the good news. Place your trust and your faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. I close with these verses from the book of Colossians chapter 3. Therefore, if you were raised with Christ, look for the things that are above, where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Think about the things above and not things on earth. You died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. This is the promise. This is the power. This is the assurance of God in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. And now with confidence, let us pray together our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our closing hymn is Up From the Grave He Arose. I invite you to sing now as Allison leads us in this great Easter hymn. Again, thank you for joining us for this time of worship. Bishop Easterling has prepared a special Easter message for the people in our annual conference and beyond. 
So I would invite you, if you wish to view that worship, you may do so. The links are available on our church website, salemunited.org. The links are also available on our church Facebook page. We are sent forth from this time of worship in the power of Jesus Christ's resurrection. Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.